One of the best views across all 3,000 square kilometers of the Westerwald can be enjoyed from the top of the Hedwigsturm Tower near Bad Marienberg. To experience the forest in its full glory, it's worth exploring its many hiking trails. One route is the Westerwaldsteig, which opened in 2008 and is known as one of Germany's most attractive long-distance hiking trails. It leads through the entire forest and takes two weeks to cover. Hiking guide Josef Ruth helped design the Westerwaldsteig and knows every inch of it. There's a lot to discover on the 235 kilometers of the Westerwaldsteig. It's very diverse. The views change all the time. Just now we were surrounded by forest, then a meadow and then a valley. What makes the Westerwaldsteig special is all the unspoilt nature. That unspoiled nature makes for a great adventure playground. Last spring, a Kletterwald, or rope course, opened near Bad Marienberg. It's actually seven courses, with all degrees of difficulty, so everyone can give it a go. As long as they don't mind heights. The most challenging rope course is 12 meters off the ground. It's awesome, fantastic, amazing. Because you have to push yourself, work as a team, you need to motivate people a bit. I'm here for the first time with a group of young people. I'm totally impressed. Then it's on past a former quarry. Until 50 years ago, this was one of the many sites in the Westerwald where basalt was mined. Today, nature has reclaimed the disused quarry. Once this imposing castle looms into view, hikers know they're approaching Hachenburg. Home to a population of 6,000 and once home to the von Sein dynasty, it's one of the most beautiful towns in the Westerwald. The half-timbered buildings that line the old market are typical of the region. Stefan Grathoff is in charge of the town archive. The Hachenburgers are a resilient bunch. The whole town burnt down a total of ten times. And time and time again, the residents just rebuilt their houses because they had nowhere else to go. The town council and the counts helped out with the costs, so that the worst damage had usually been cleared 20 or 30 years later. Unfortunately, the castle can only be admired from the outside. Today, it's the property of Deutsche Bank, which uses it to train its staff. The banks of the many rivers and lakes along the hiking trail are perfect spots to while away the hours, such as here on the river Nistar. Another inviting port of call just off the Westerwaldsteig is the Birkenhof Distillery where a regional potato and caraway schnapps is made. The distillery also produces schnapps with carrots and honey, red beets and hazelnuts. And recently, it's also started producing whiskey. As a traditional distillery that's been distilling grain since 1848, we see whiskey as just another way of distilling and storing grain. Basically, it's just a grain spirit that's stored in a wooden barrel for at least three years. So it's a new departure for us and a lot of fun. Sculptor Erwin Wuttelkamp's landscape garden in Hasselbach is a mix of art and nature, with works by 40 artists on display here. His son Kim helped transform some 100,000 square meters of countryside into a park, one that Erwin Wuttelkamp first began working on 30 years ago. Visitors will probably just walk by a lot of the sculptures and not even get round to visiting parts of the park the first time they come here. 
But I think that these very subtle pieces of art will raise their awareness of various spatial experiences of proximity and distance, small-scale space and so on. The newest sculpture is a granary drum. Inside, the organic exhibits exude a strange beauty. Each season has its own charm here, so it's well worth returning to rediscover new aspects of the Westerwald.